Hi guys, Dave's here. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a little experiment. I've got um, seven pieces of scrap white pine here. And what I'm going to do is stain each one of them with different stains. I'm going to start with steel wool and just go down the list of different stains. I want to see the effects of it. And I thought y'all might like to see it too. So stay tuned. Okay, I put some blue tape in the center in here because I'm going to do some of them double sided and everything and I might leave one of them plain. But before I do anything, I'm going to apply the Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner and let it set for down about 15-20 minutes so that way everything will be uniform. I recommend putting this on any pine before you stain it. Okay, I've got all the pieces stained and I'll let them dry a couple days here now and I'll go over each one of them showing you what they are. Okay, this one right here is plain, nothing done to it at all, no pre-stain or nothing. This one is with the steel wool and vinegar. And here's, just, here's the steel wool and vinegar mix. This one here is just natural minwax stain. This in here is hoppy switch pine stain. It don't look much different than the natural. This in here is the gun stock finish. I think it looks pretty good. This in here is cherry finish. It don't look much different than the natural. And this in here's red oak finish. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I thought about red oak on pine. And this in here is it's golden oak finish and this in here is the newest stain that I started using is rusty oleum Kona I like the look of the brown of it now this in here is another new color it's called classic gray and everything you want the gray effect to it I think it done good and this in here is red mahogany it gives a little dark effect and everything looks almost about like the red oak over there and this in here is uh, something new too i bought i thought try dr driftwood which in the pine it didn't it didn't really do that much to it maybe some other woods it will and this in here i like it pretty good and which it's a little dark walnut and this in here is the special walnut and, uh, I like the dark walnut uh, I've used it before and everything but uh, I hope this gives somebody an ideal you know some different stains that you can use on your white pine now remember I pre-stain all these before I applied the other stain after letting it set about 15 minutes. Now, one exception you can do, I've used this Kona, the rest of the other Kona, and I've used it before without pre-staining, and it done pretty good, but I pre-stained it on this one because I wanted a good test on all of them. But I would recommend pre-staining for white pine anyway. Well, I hope this gives somebody an idea, some different colors you can use, and thanks for watching guys.